Apple ranking of its best restaurants in town is out now and coming in at number nine bouquet restaurant in Covington. Joining us now for bouquet, the chef and owner Stephen Williams, along with chef de cuisine, Brandon Lomax, <laughs> Lomax. And we've also got senior editor Kaylee Payton from Cincinnati Magazine here to tell us more about the selection process, all that kind of thing. Thank you all so much for being here. Thanks for having yeah, us. Thank you. Let, let's start with the restaurant itself. When you see a list like this come out and you're a part of it and you can see everybody else who is on that list, how meaningful a thing is that for you? Oh, it means so much. I mean, being with all of our peers, all the people yeah. that we hang out with all the time, it's um, it's an honor, but it's we love seeing each other on lists like this. It's, yeah. just, it's, it's a fun thing to rally around. There is there is a genuine camaraderie, I, I think, in that restaurant community. Is 100%, there not? especially yeah. in Cincinnati. It's, it's much different than any other towns that I've worked in. It's, we all get along. We all help each other out. We help out with staff, with food, product, farmers. It's it's right. wonderful. Yeah, and Brandon, for you, I, I would imagine it's a pretty cool community to be a part of, and you're, you're sort of seeing it in a great renaissance period right now. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Um, not only have we had a bunch of chefs that are coming in from other cities, like actually coming to work in Cincinnati because yeah. it's such a destination for this, but to see people that, you know, I worked with at Bouquet, you know, eight years ago, kind of grow and see where their careers are and what restaurants they're at now. And, you know, to have us like, you know, go these separate paths, but still be together in these, you know, this really tight community is a pretty amazing thing. That's awesome. What are you guys putting together? Uh, well, here, you can discuss the motherboard. <laughs> <laughs> the motherboard. Uh, this is our motherboard. It's our cheese and charcuterie uh, board that we do in-house. It's probably our longest running item on the menu for the past 13-ish years. Um, nice. It's a lot of pickled veg. We try to reuse as much of our, our scrap just as possible. Just look at all the color, man. Yep. I mean, it just pops right off there, doesn't it? Yeah, a lot, a lot of meat, a lot of cheese, a lot of pickles. Wow. We usually have about 23 items all together. <laughs> These are a few of my favorite things. <laughs> All right, what else are we cooking up, Brandon? Uh, so over here, um, well, I'm kind of waiting for this stuff to warm up a little bit, so we'll see. But we uh, have this. Well, we've got the very best here for <laughs> you. <right? laughs> Uh, so we've, we've got this Aura King salmon. So um, last year we did this off the hook event. So at um, the restaurant, we are huge proponents of sustainable seafood and stuff like this. Yeah. Um, so Aura King is a farm raised out of New Zealand. Um, but the way that it's actually raised itself, the feed that they use is um, a more like reliable source of seafood. And it's a more sustainable kind of thing um, that, you know, a lot of restaurants are getting more and more onto. So we'll have this seared Aura King salmon. It's absolutely delicious. Um, you guys can't really see it here, but we have Brussels sprouts I'm and sun to see chokes. Yeah, and like these lines, mains, mushrooms. This is a lot of like local produce we try to get. Um, uh, we use a what's called local food connection. Um, they kind of um, hook, like I guess, set up farmers in a bigger kind of area to where like it's easier for us chefs to kind of get a hold of the produce. It makes yeah. it you know just easier to source higher quality. Well, things. the locally sourced stuff that's a huge yeah. thing right now too, and there's plenty mm -hmm. of places to come up with that stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. And Steven has been a huge proponent of that since I started at the restaurant. Was that almost eight years ago? Um, he definitely pushes that, and you know, all of our heads. A lot of the restaurants in the top ten are definitely you know huge proponents of the the local food kind of movement as well. So. All right, well, gentlemen, I'm gonna let you do what you do. Okay, let me <laughs> let me talk to you about the list itself and and putting it together and having a restaurant like Bouquet end up on the list. Yeah. So basically, when we work on this every year, first of all, it's one of our proudest 50 plus year traditions of yeah. the magazine. Um, but basically, we start like at least six months ahead of time, and um, it's a collaboration between our dining critic and the editorial staff to kind of come up with like this universe of restaurants that we're dining at. And um, it's really like we're taking the pulse of the restaurant scene, yeah. and um, we our dining critic goes to each restaurant that we come and up with. And it's the with. same person that goes to each it's one. It's the right? same person. Yeah. He writes our dining out um, review every single month, so our readers trust his voice. Um, and and he comes up with the top ten. Ultimately, it's his decision. What a, what a special time to be reviewing the Cincinnati restaurant scene again, because there's there's so many unbelievable places and new places seemingly all the time. Absolutely, and it's it, we're really at a point I think where um, we're looking back at the past decade as we're looking forward to the next decade, and it's been. Um, it's such a pivotal past decade in that we've become kind of a na nationally recognized yeah. dining scene. Um, so we really wanted to look ahead and see where are we going possibly in the next 10 years, and it's looking like such a bright future. All right, you've got to check out the, the latest edition of Cincinnati Magazine with its 10 best restaurants of this year. They'll be on newsstands beginning tomorrow. And joining us tomorrow, by the way, the executive chef at Nicola's, which comes in at number five. He's making an endive salad. So watch for that tomorrow. You guys, everybody wants to come over. Yes. John, you should, I mean, I'm a big fan. Thank you so much. Congrats, we'll be right back. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.